What is going on, people? It is me, JC, one of the best rappers on YouTube. So, School Bus Graveyard. What is this? Chapter 30. So, the funny thing of it is about this series is I love it. And I love the people who love this series because if I do not put out this series on a timely manner or I forget or something happens, they will hit me up in the DMs and be like, hey, JC, where's the chapter at? Where's the reaction at? Get it out now. So I see you guys watching. Go ahead, subscribe to your boy. We're close to the 500 mark. Then go to a thousand, then a ten thousand. So join the family, join the army. Let's get to it. My parents had always tried to teach me self defense when I was younger, but I never, but it never stuck. Hold on, got here in, in the choke, choking her daughter out right now. If it wasn't related to dancing, it was hard for me to have enough motivation to even try. She's like, mm, this ain't nothing. Look at this. She's like, mm, let me just hit this real quick. They managed to get me to learn a little kickboxing, but it could help me perform better in dance class. My interest, uh, my interest in it didn't last long enough for me to learn anything long term, though. So to stay, so to say they were excited when I told them I was going to join the self defense lessons is an understatement. Look at that. Look at the excitement. Their face was like, you want to do wait really <laughs> no take backs you aren't messing with this like hold on what did they like meet each other doing self-defense or something why are they both doing it as for the others everyone got permission for their parents to teach them it took some convincing from aiden and ben's parents due to ben's past with violence though once dad explained that self-defense can help ben learn to pr uh, protect himself and others in a more controlled manner they were less reluctant for Logan, his grandparents had to meet mom and dad in person first. The, look at that. Gr the granddad's cool. Grandma's like, nah, bro. What you trying to do my, to, to my grandson? And the twins were not all that complicated. They just went home. And the next day, they said it was okay. So they're going to learn it anyways. So now, here we are. Boom. <laughs> Hold on. You see the scratches on my boy right now? You see the scratches? Hits the ground. Crash. Ouch. Still getting this snot kicked out of us, us after a month. So they've been doing this for a month. Still getting their asses kicked, basically. Uh, make sure to keep your legs in check. All right, Logan, you're up next. Logan's like, <laughs> he's crying. He's like, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Logan gets his head, head down. Your dad's brutal. No one in the real world would take it easy on us. So isn't it, uh so he isn't going to either. The thud he hit the ground pretty hard. Actually, I might have been more scared of your mom. Your mom is the mom is throwing him down too. Love to see it. I love the scratches. I love it. Like they can they can handle it. Do you see how I did that, Taylor? She's like, yeah. Okay. Uh, how about we stop here for today? They're all hitting the ground. He's dizzy. You good, bro? Like, hello. <laughs> see, you flew. He relieved really safe. Look at that. You're not safe. Don't let your guard down. Hey, look. Hold on. He let your guard down. He still got him in a choke. He got still got him in a choke. My my work phone is going off. That's on me. But you know, I gotta answer these phones. I should throw this phone across the room, bro. You kids want to come down, I mean, come in and play with some board games? I'll make sandwiches. We can't we have to study for midterms. Oh sorry to hear that. Okay. Well, just uh bring the sandwich to you then. Sandwiches. Study hard. That midterm, uh, that midterm joke was great. It wasn't a joke, you idiots. <laughs> They're next week. Clank, was that? They're all talking. She heard something. Unplugs. And it takes out the earplugs. Hold on. She hearing? She hearing the thing that normally happens when she hears the phantoms? Uh, Ashlyn. She comes around the corner. Just the crow. The crow looks. What's up? Did you hear something again? I thought I did. It's just a bird, though. You got worked up over a crow? It didn't sound like a crow. I thought it was a footstep. Maybe you just got mixed up with your grandparents walking, I mean, with your parents walking away. Never mind. Let's just finish setting up traps. Okay. So it's nighttime. They're in their phantom forms because their hair is, is gone. We're finally done. The lights arrived about a week ago. I like her with the short hair. 
along with the suits Aiden bought on a wheel. Okay, got the black suits. Love to see it. New fit. This is why you asked uh, for our sizes. We've been steadily putting the lights up at night while Aiden keeps them uh, charging around his house. Okay. Then the charging transfer over into the Phantom Division, even though they aren't in the same place. They're a slight problem, though. Jesus, look at all a slight problem. Yeah, that. Okay. The slight problem that even though the lights will stop them from climbing over, they're all literally coming to that place because it's lit up. Oh, yeah. It's about to go down. I like the new fits, though. I like the new fits. They're all kind of like chilling. They're, they're kind of used to it now. Like they're used to like the Phantoms being there and getting self defense. They're getting so confident in themselves. But at the same time, like their plan is working, but it's kind of working against them too. All right, guys. That is it for me. I will see you guys next week with some more uh, School Bus Graveyard. Subscribe to your boy, by the way. Let's get out of here. Peace.